you know like i just feel like it's a winner 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 chicken dinner hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is like your ever first video like ever watching me then hi um if not then welcome back um this is just going to be really random like i just thought i know like this is like this season for like autumn and people are like doing so many autumn hauls um and i've done like a zara one but it wasn't really autumn -y. some things were some things weren't um that sunlight is really annoying he's going to annoy me as well obviously is that better do you guys prefer this lighting in the sun i thought the sunlight would have been better but, but bear bear oi oi hello no yeah this is just going to be random it's just going to be like a little bit of like a as a haul because i'm going to try everything on i'm going to show you guys but it's not like one particular brand like I, right now from what i can see i've got zara boohoo asos zara zara <laughs> pretty little thing maybe i'm not sure if that's holiday but like i've got so many packages like so many so i just thought what i would do is i'd just do like an overall haul of like what i've bought this month and like things i'm loving for autumn try them all on and then i'll do like more actual just set brands but i just sometimes also feel like i don't always love everything from the one brand so i just felt like it would just be good to do little bits because maybe there's already been like for example if i'm showing you things from asos you might have already done screenshot his things from asos or have them saved in your wish list and then like you see these bits you can add them in and i don't know about you guys but like i feel like most people have got like that next day delivery thing with every brand so like you don't really mind jumping on and ordering from different people especially when you're not paying like 5.95 every time you're ordering something so i'm obviously very casual today it's a saturday i had no plans i was in a little bit in a bad mood didn't really take the photos i wanted to take today feel ugly which is strange because i'm now on camera but i'm in something comfy with my jumper having like an off day today me and mama just had a bicker so i feel bad about that did anyone else do that like even like you know you're not wrong you still feel guilty because it's your mum so okay rambling on i feel like i'm right like what do you call that when like you off lift your problems I don't know if that's definitely what I'm doing anyway. Okay, let's start. Who should I start with? Let's just do it. So, first off, I bought, and I'm going to see, have they give, given me a bit of paper? They don't give you that anymore, don't they not? It's to save the trees and shit. Um, this, so, is a, it's ASOS Design. Petite fitted polo. So petite, obviously I'm not petite, but I just always go a size up. So I actually quite like this. Now, oh, made in Turkey. See you in three weeks, honey. So here it is here. It's like an, a cream knitted. It looks see-through. I mean, I don't think it's like super thick, but I, it's like not see-through, but like borderline. Um, and obviously it's got like your little collar it doesn't have any buttons on so it's just like the whole collar effect um now if you've got like no boobs like little like literally nothing i would not wear a bra you would look so sexy like that's sexy me however i mean i don't have big boobs but i've got boobs of there would look ridiculous i think if my nipples were shown so i would maybe wear like a lovely little like just like a little plain bra like you know, the ones i always wear like the ones that the wire those ones from Primark, and just wear that under it but like this with like joggy bottoms or this with like a lovely like it's even like on a night out see like this denim shorts like the cream boots i'll pop them up for you see like them denim shorts this white cream blazer or this denim shorts black blazer black boots or this in jeans and like chunky trainers and like i feel like if you were like your friends like, would you go for breakfast on sunday or you and your bf or you and your gf go for some lunch i feel like it's got so much potential like nice gold hoops nice chunky jewelry like loads of rings like really 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 make yourself look quite sexy so this is this is what i got um 
I'll make sure I link everything down below. If it's out of stock, I'll try and still link it and just put in brackets that it's out of stock for you guys. So this, okay, so I just actually went and ordered a grey version of this because I've not even tried it on anything, but I seen it and I thought, I know they'll always sell out. So this is the Collusion brand, which I always, like every Monday I go on Collusion just to check. Collusion knitted rib dress with open back and sporty yarn. Yarn. I feel like this year autumn's gonna be autumn's gonna be all about the creams and nudes, the browns. Oh, there's a brown liner bag I seen on you, so I keep going to buy it and every time I I forget, but oh my god, right, this is a this is stunning. So this is like knitted thicker material though, so not as see-through. Again, you have the um, polo, like kind of low cut detail, but there is no zip. And then on the back, can you guys see? I'm gonna put my hand through, like it's open, like a big circle, and then you actually just tie it. So that's actually stunning. I feel like just now, obviously with Corona and things, like there's a 10 p.m. curfew at the moment. So hopefully it's still here in this video because because then I'm just gonna talk like I'm just gonna talk nonsense. But I kind of don't feel the point in getting super dark to go home at 10 o'clock, personally. However, if Lee asked me to go for dinner, this, well like those cream boots, cream bag, you're going to look sensational. Or even that with like a nice black heel, little black clutch or little black shoulder bag, you're going to look so elegant so that you just threw it on as if oh, effortless, but it's actually been a lot of train of thought put into it. But, the colour of this one's stunning, even with that brown leather bag, that would be cute. And then see, even in dress this down, see like a nice black blazer and like black chunky boots or a cream blazer and cream chunky boots. Anything really would honestly be stunning with this dress. Um, so I'll pop up a photo of me and a video of me wearing it just so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10 for me with that one. Hopefully it fits. I wasn't sure what size did I get. I got a UK 10 because I have lost a little bit of weight and what I was realising recently was just because I am so self-conscious I've been ordering everything in size 12s and nothing fits like my agency were like everything's too big for you why are you ordering big sizes that don't fit obviously different if you want something to be oversized but like actual things that you need it to fit I just look quite stupid because it's all too big so I've went for the 10 so hopefully they fit if they don't fit I'll probably have a nervous breakdown but whatever so this I got, it's a ASOS Design White Utility Shoulder Bag with Buckles. Oh, I remember this. So out of all the handbags I have, and I have a handbag collection, I don't own like a classic white. A lot of my white ones have got prints on them, graffiti on them, or they're quite like fancy. And I just want a bag that's kind of in between, like just one I can fling on with my jeans. Can we talk about, like see like this outfit? Like, see if I had this on my jeans, nice little white bag, you know, like, I look so cool. You know, like, I just feel like it's a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Um, and yeah, it's actually really good quality. It's kind of like nylon -y, so I feel like if you got anything on it, it would come off quite easy. But I did really like the, the, like the really a lot, the high buckle effect, and it's on the back as well. Um, and I feel like it's a perfect size for night out also or just for casual wear. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one. And like I said, like see, just something like this in jeans would be so cool. Um, so yeah, so so far, this is my ASOS stuff. I don't know if I have another ASOS parcel. I don't think it's it. Oh. Oh. What's that from, Gavin and Stacey? Oh, Pam. So I ordered this little knit set i'm telling you now it's come back that's already making me itch so i'm allergic to anything that casts and this cast i feel like i'm allergic um yeah i mean i feel like for people this would be really cute like molly mcfarlane vibes jilly isabella you know little cutie pies that they are they would really rock this me however no so i'm not even gonna try it on because it's actually giving me the heave like it's too itchy Probably not, but anyway. Oh my god, this is heavy, whatever I've ordered from Zara. I can't find my scissors. So we've got to just need to do it with a pen. Hope for the best. Okay. So massive Zara order. Have I got an Zara box? I do. So I 
out of all the blazers I've got I've never had like an oversized perfect black blazer like it's just I don't know I've just never found it unless like I've always kind of maybe seen them but they've been quite expensive and I'm not going to lie like the max I'll pay for a blazer but a hundred pound unless and less and less and less it's like a pure fancy one but like just like an everyday blazer I feel like a hundred pounds quite dear for a blazer but anyway that's what I would pay so I was on Zara and I seen this one I got it in a large for 49.99 okay it's not as long but however wait till it's long because sometimes I do that and then they are super long it doesn't seem super long what do you guys think or do you guys think that is long I don't um, I like the fact there's black buttons. I'm not a fan of blazers that get brown buttons or like now that turtoise button. It's just not my vibe. But we'll try it on. It's a large, and I also bought it for the price, and it's super thick, so it's really good quality as all Zara blazers are. But I feel like I just want like a blazer I can just fling on with like leather pants or jeans and a little white vest top. Like I just feel like a black blazer is a classic. And I also feel that like when you get a blazer like that, the, you can keep them for a long time. Like unless like, you really fuck them up. But if you're not fucking blazers up, then you can keep them for a really long time. So I'll pop up a video of me wearing this one. Hopefully it's as long as I want it to be. If not, then I don't know if I'll keep it. These, I was like, mm, don't know if I'll suit these, but I'm going to try and buy them anyway. So, there are basically, I got them in a large and I got a $17.99. Now, the reason I got a large is because it was nude and I thought if it's pure clingy, it might end up see-through. So, it's just basically like a stretch and they do look quite big, to be fair. And it's like a long, skinny, skinny, skinny slash flare um, trouser. It's really thin, not thin material, but really light. And I thought, how cool would th 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 them be with like an oversized like, t-shirt Oversized with jumper, chunky trainers, um, a white blazer, black blazer with like a little black t-shirt, like really quite cool. Um, and I like I just love the colour of them, like a, such a really nice cream. So hopefully they're nice on. I haven't obviously tried them on yet, but my fingers crossed they're actually really nice on. Because yeah, I feel like they're such like a good outfit just to always put on. Um, hopefully anyway. Then we have what the fuck? Who are they fit? Oh, so I always get asked questions on where I get these trousers. Now, they were Zara last year and I they fitted me perfect. Obviously, I've lost a little bit. Obviously, as if I'm like, you no, know, but I've, I've lost like a little bit of weight. Um, and they're quite, un like, they're just not attract as attractive anymore because they're so baggy at my bum and my waist. They just crease a lot and they're not as nice on. They're not as fitting as what they were before. So I ordered like the, the Zara's newer version. Um, and these, and I got them in a medium for $19.99. They're called, there's no name there, but I'll make sure to link everything. So they're like the high waist, a little bit different because they zip at the side instead of like the zip at the front with a button. Um, and then it's just like your long flare. And it's also got the zip so you can make it as flared as you want it to be. So depending maybe if you're wearing a heel or a boot or a trainer or something like that, you can change it up. So hopefully they're nice on, hopefully they fit. I'm sure they will fit, hopefully. If they don't fit, then I'm crying myself to sleep tonight. Woohoo! Happy times. Right, so that's them. So, like, see, really, like, see when you think of that, 1999 at Zara for a good leather trouser, that's so good. Like, when you especially think of other things, like, I've bought jeans out of places before, and they've been, like, terrible, ter terrible quality. <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, I just feel like Zara stuff sometimes is so weirdly priced that them I would have paid. If they said £40 on them, I would have paid them. If they probably said 50 I probably would have still bought them. Um, so I just feel like sometimes some of their good stuff is so cheap and affordable. And I'm like, did they guys, does Zara not realise how much more money they could have made off them? Obviously, that's not what we want them to do. We obviously want to be affordable, but I'm just saying. It's not as if Zara are going to watch this now these I got again I'm obsessed with the colour I think with the black blazer this is what I had in mind like black blazer like the black racer Zara um, bodysuit and like black heels or black boots um, is like the leather trouser only can you guys see the colour it's like a brown it's not actually black um, a lot I think I don't know if it's picking up well but they're a lot more brown in real life it's not shitty brown either, it's a chocolate brown. I got them in a medium just because the ones I did in my Zara haul, I bought all of them in a large and I sent them back, they were just too big. So I got them and they've got a bit of a stretch to them. These were 19 as well. They're high rise, they've got a nice button, 
Um, do they have a zip? And they also have a zip, so you can maybe look. They won't be flary, but you could definitely loosen them if you maybe you're looking for more like a side on effect with like the heel. Um, so, like I was saying there, it's got like the zip with a nice black button here. Um, and it's got imitation pockets as well um, so I think they'll be absolutely lovely I feel like for like autumn winter time this colour is going to be perfect like the brown like I was actually thinking of them like how nice it would be at night time like if I was going for dinner with Lee like black heels, black little, like nice top and like that this brown leather bag I'll pop up so you guys can imagine my thought process here this brown bag like I just feel like it's a bit of a vibe and it's so affordable like see if I bought that the brown bag it's £40 combined and you've probably already got like a black top and black heels in the house like I feel like everyone's got two of those items like that's such a lovely date night outfit and you could also f scrap the heels and wear something a little bit more like comfy if you were doing like a day sesh so I absolutely love them hopefully they fit because I don't want to send them back I don't know if it's these ones here but I'm going to pop the girl's Instagram up um, she always tags me in like our fashion and school stuff and I, to be, it's wild that she tags me because her fashion sport her fashion styles like inspo for me so um she's so so lovely but she wore these and they're called tech leggings so they're not trousers guys because if people were saying oh they can't find them on the website they're actual tech leggings not trousers they're like a nylon material they're not like a normal trouser or legging um and they've got the black like rib like rib going down the middle of them um, and they're like really really skinny basically kind of really similar to the nude ones I just showed you different material though um, and then they've also got the zip here that you can unzip and I thought again how cool would that be like that like a black oversized jumper with like the um, black blazer chunky boot just like really really like I also sometimes think like, see like as we're going into like autumn and like winter I like really plain, nothing really graphic unless it's like a graphic t-shirt but like all black, all cream or like mixing and matching those colours but like I think those trousers will make your legs look like teeny weeny off a catwalk legs I just think they make anyone's legs look so bloody sexalicious as the word I'm going to use today hopefully they fit and i'll pop up a video for you guys but I just feel like these things here for 19.99 if you're looking to go spend maybe just say like just say 200 right you might not be spending 200 but if you were going to go spend 200 pound right to say for example you could go buy the brown trousers the brown leather the black legging the nude legging and the black blazer right for 200 pound and you've still got some money left you could then go buy like a nice brown bag and a nice chunky back boot right and you have so many different ways of styling those outfits and then next year for autumn and winter you don't really need to keep buying new ones like i'm not going to lie i don't really buy loads and loads and loads and loads like see the same leather trousers i would just keep buying the same style like every year i'll probably buy the black flare the brown they went out last year so i absolutely love the fact there's a brown this year and you just re-wear like i am a trust me guys i re-wear like i never used to i used to be quite like oh no girls just take that i'll never re-wear that again depending what it is like if it's like a dress that's like done really well on instagram i'll re-wear it i just want to get a photo on it again but things like that i wear fucking all the time like every day all the time and no jokes if i put an outfit on and it's like one of those last minute ones it just comes to my head and i put it on and i love it i'm like that i'm re-wearing you tomorrow if you're clean you can back on tomorrow and I'm going to make sure I look double as cute tomorrow. That's just how I go. So, so far, Zara, thumbs up. Happy, happy, happy. Always am with Zara. God's sakes, where now? So we're going to go on to Uhu. I don't remember ordering any of this. I swear I do this in my sleep. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So here we have... What a premium black blazer. So I actually, if you have watched my Gladuck vlog, like the little vlog at the hotel, I wore a cream boohoo blazer. It was a premium collection. I'll pop a photo up for you guys. Um, and it's really, really good quality. And I remember them not being super dear. Um, so I actually, before I ordered the Zara stuff, I ordered it in black. But now that I've seen the black Zara blazer, you can actually see the difference in quality. And it was only an extra... £20 for the Zara one so I feel like I'll probably send this one back just because the quality is a little bit better but I'm going to show you guys anyway so this one comes with like the turtoise buttons here 
Um, it's still really good quality though because I have it in cream and I wear the cream one so don't say it. I'm not bashing it at all. Um, and it's got like, the buttons here. Um, I ordered this in a size 12 to make it a little bit more oversized. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it on just in case because sometimes I do that and I actually prefer it. So I'll pop up a little video anyway guys for you to see. Because you never just judge by bite cover. Right, I think these will go back just looking at them. Wasn't quite what I thought they looked like on the website, but it's like from a holiday, so it was like shorts, but also not just from a holiday. Like the weather just now, I think in like London and Essex is actually really nice. And in Glasgow, actually, like I've seen like, like today is a really nice day. It's chilly, but it's nice. You could wear these with like a black blazer, black chunky boots, black trainers, white trainers even. Like you could really still wear these, even though it's kind of a little bit colder season. Um, because it's still really sunny so you can get away with a short um, so it's like a cycle short denim with like a little bit of fray at the bottom they might be nicer on than they are off so again I'll try them on and pop up a video for you but I'm not too sure then I ordered I'm sure I ordered that in white yeah that's not that says here white shorts okay boo boo so they are going back thank you then i ordered this little set i just thought like it would actually be so cute just jumping about the house it wasn't really for anything else other than that but the shorts are going back they're, they're yeah like there's these are so see-through guys like i can't say the quality them are so bad like they would just show all your lumps and bumps and it was to go with this jumper um i'll open up the jumper just in case that's worth keeping but so far I'm a little bit disappointed in my boohoo order but whatever. Okay that's going back because I didn't realise it was cropped. So not what it seemed. Or did I keep that? Oh what would you do? What would you do? No. No Abby. You're not just keeping things. This is keeping. This is a problem. This is why you have no money. Try a little thing. I think that's just like swimwear and stuff for me. Oh wow right okay 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 this is good. This wasn't what I expected this to be. I did an order from Shein. Now, I didn't pay any customs, nothing at all, no zilch. Um, this isn't an ad either, this is actually what I bought, so it's not as if they've sent me on friends and family or anything like that. Um, I actually bought all this. So what I'll do is we'll run through it all. I'm wondering should I do two hauls because I've got so much stuff to get through with you guys. Uh, maybe not, maybe we'll just do one big fuck off haul. So, let's start with accessories. Now before I forget, not that any of you guys can remind me, but I want to show you jewellery that I got delivered that I actually love. So yeah, I, obviously you guys know I'm going on holiday in like three weeks potentially if Corona doesn't. But, like today, it's hot, it's nice in Glasgow. Still wear sunnies, like, see when it's still sunny, you still need sunglasses. So I ordered a few. Now, for the price I paid, right, let me actually get this up so that I'm correct with this one because I'm actually shocked that these have came with a case. Like, they've came with, like, an actual leather, like, sheen case, which is so good because sunglasses from, like, ASOS don't even come with that. Come on, there's all the kiddies. <laughs> So like my sunglasses range from 6.45, 7.45, 5.49 and 6.99 and you get the case with it. I'm sorry but that's, that's a winner. I feel like Shein have upped their game a little bit with their packaging as well by the way guys. And I will also make sure to link everything um, you see here. Also top tip, like just say for example you like this style but don't like the colour. Rather than scrolling because Shein website's not like it's a lot of handle click on it and then scroll to the bottom of that page and it comes up with all the other suggestions that you make me like so i fucking love these oh my god like these are nice because look you can still see my eyes so when we mean business you can see me i actually love these like really 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 love these very like oh chanel but not chanel you know so i actually love these they look so expensive guys and they've got like the little detail here just so you can see little little side detail as well which is absolutely amazing so i've got them perfect they're they're staying put then we have what's dangling here something broken 
Right. I'm so confused. So there's like a bit through the glass. Do you see that? Look. Why would that be there dangling like that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're not so good after all. But anyway. How cool are they? I really like them. Really like them. For what you pay. Like they come in like the... So that's like the gold... So it's like the black lens with like the gold and then it's got like the all black hair. Um, so they're actually stunning. Stunning. Which is well, see like the dark ones, like they are perfect for more winter times. It's not like a pure sunny, like summery sunglass. Like it's not like pink or like, I don't know, like love hearts or something like that. Like lenses, you know what I mean? Like they are a little bit more like wintery vibes. Um, which obviously helps when you're trying to get away with like wearing them in like the autumn and winter time. Which you totally can. God, how many sets did I order? See what these ones are. So these are the same as the first ones, only a little bit darker. Okay, I love, love, love. I feel like on holiday, people are gonna be like, oh my God, this girl's got the best sunglass collection. And I'm gonna be like, mm, I know, I know. Unfortunately, they're not Chanel. Beggars can't be choosers. Can't wait to get my new nails done because these ones are getting too long for me to actually manage with. Oh very different for me but I feel like on holiday with the right outfit oh okay I love these I love the fact the, the outer part like this part is so light and the lens is so dark like I actually love like love 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 do you like them bear does mum look cute He's so I actually love them and again they all come with these black sunglass cases which guys this is like really good for Sheen. I think they've really upped their game. Obviously, I think they're from China, aren't they? But I was so happy. I thought I was going to have a custom bill, which I was a bit of like, ugh, about because I paid customs on quite a lot of things recently that I've ordered. Oh. Save the best to last, they say. You ready? Rowan, shut your eyes. So it's a surprise. Shut your eyes. Open. I feel like I should be singing. They see me rolling. They hate it. How fucking good are these? I feel like I'm ready to like just sit like by the pool and just look cute on holiday. I feel like it's a complete and utter vibe. I also feel like as well because of the dark, like the turtoise vibes, um, these are perfect for like autumn. So I'm absolutely a major fan of these. And obviously they come with a little case I've been bragging on about. How cute are these? So I am so happy with all five of them. Like really, really happy. So now what I'm going to do is, guys, we're going to move on to... Bear. Yeah. Bear, 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 bear. Oi, oi, oi. Bear, don't make me get up. Okay, so we're going to move on to bag. I think I only ordered one bag, so... Bear, you joking me? Okay, right. Sheen have upped their game. Sheen have upped their game. I ordered a bit last year and I was so disappointed with a lot of things. And this time I'm actually really, really happy. So I got this little denim, like, print bag with, like, the gold chain. Now, the gold is quite a cheap, tacky chain, but that's actually quite in at times. And I think because the bag's not gold, you can actually get away with that being a little bit more harsher. Um, it's mini as well, it's not super big. And like in comparison to the white one, you can see it's quite, like it's a little bit smaller. Um, it also comes inside with like a strap that I, just doesn't go with the bag, but it's there. It's red inside. I actually love this. How cute. Like, see like a nice cream blazer, denim shorts, white t-shirt and trainers, this little bag. Or even like all black, like really anything. Or even just like see what I'm wearing today and then fling on like denims and trainers. This is a vibe. This would really dress up an outfit. Or if you want to keep your outfit casual, but just make it a little bit more stylish. Then a bag like this is spot on. I'll get the price. I don't remember it being super expensive. Um, $13.99. I'm sorry, but that's like an absolute bargain for $13.99. I'm loving life with this one. So, this here. Now, the clothes is always where I'm a bit like, you can just tell... It's just not as good quality. But let's just not, let's not be hasty, Abby, you know. So yes, 
Now I'm not let down by this, but it's just not the same. Like this quality jumper, it's thick. Like it's a good quality. It's not like that shiny soft material. This is, so it's not like, you can kind of see my hand through it. It's not as thick, like if you see the difference. Can you guys see? Like it's not as thick. However, it is still cool. So I just got, now the size of this is weird. This is a large and I wouldn't say it's very big. I probably could have went a bit bigger for me. But this is like a cool print on it. And I just thought how cool would that be just with jeans. And like see like this, the denim bag. That What a vibe with jeans by the way. That's probably quite a cool outfit. That is actually probably quite a cool, cool outfit. And I'll wear that super soon. So yeah, I'm absolutely all for this. And that price, did I tell you the price of that one? I don't think I did, did I? Wait, that's weird. It's not on my order summary. Does that mean I didn't pay for it? Right, fuck knows what's going on because it's not there, but that's strange. So anyway, I absolutely love that. It's just the quality's not as good if you're looking for like a super good quality, but I don't remember it being expensive. So, but it's not, the, not, it's not like not wearable quality. That's one thing I will say. So here we have this little top. Now I put this in my basket and I took it back out and I put it back in. I'm starting to think I should get it out, but whatever. So I'm actually thinking about wearing this on holiday with black bikini bottoms. Um, it's just like a little off-the-shoulder zebra top, like a little puffy sleeve. Um, but at the front, it kind of cups your boobs. I'm not showing it off well here. I'll just like go in and see if you guys can see. It like kind of has like a little bit of detail so like it will cup your boob like that and kind of sit like that and give you more like, like so it's not just like saggy and I thought that would be quite nice off the shoulder with like little bikini black bikini bottoms on holiday so I mean I feel like if you've got like if you're really confident and you look like getting your stomach out that with leather trousers and black heels would be really nice for dinner or even like that with like white trainers like in jeans and something like that would be quite cool but yeah it's, it's nice the quality of it is good to be fair. This one I ordered, but I was like, hmm, I don't know how this will turn out, but we'll soon see. Okay, I love this. Wow, she ain't right under that gloss. So, this is like a tie-dye. Now, I don't know what size. I'm going to say I got this in a large. I did. Looks a little bit big. However, this could work. You could maybe like wear it quite off the shoulder or down at one side or just have it kind of more like open and like nice chains and things like that i all i love the colors just because obviously it's very autumn -y. how cute would that be with those zara now they look really dark but that's the brown ones are really brown in real life those zara leather trousers or the denim right like imagine them together that is a vibe guys that is a whole outfit like look at that that is an outfit so i absolutely love that it's quite ribbed so i would say if you're my size 10, to, like a size 10, the large would be a bit big. I would definitely go a medium. However, it might still be wearable. I will try it on, so hopefully it is still wearable, but we'll soon see. But yes, I actually do really, really um, like this one. This is like a really good purchase. And I spent 6 99 6 Like that is so good. And it came in uh, quite a lot of other colours. I'm starting to wonder, because... Right, so my camera usually cuts out at like 15, 16 minutes. And I'm wondering why how they haven't been able to record for 43. So guys, I'm actually so annoyed. Like, I've just actually just came off that and realised that I've been filming in the square format and not the normal format. I'm just so shy at YouTube. It's going to be really annoying for you guys to watch. Do I, do, do I just I don't know whether to scrap this or not. Let's just go with it and yeah, whatever. That's what it is. This is really annoying. This is really fucking annoying. Really fucking annoying. Oh. Okay, whatever. So lastly, I just want to quickly show you because I think what I'll do is I'll do the like other hauls because I've actually got so much stuff. Like I feel like I can't get all this in one haul. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this company called um, Liberty and Blush. This is in here. And they kindly sent me this necklace here. Um, and it's like an A on its side with like the um, lightning bolt, which is really, really cute. So I'm really excited to wear that. Um, then we have these lovely little um, lightning bolt 
lightning bow um like hoop earrings which are actually so cute so i cannot wait to wait to wear them and then we have oh my god this is so cute the little gold padlocks. I absolutely love these. They look so, so stunning. Um, I'll pop up their Instagram in case you haven't um, checked them out already. Please go follow them. Um, but yeah, like that stuff is so, so cute. Like I'm absolutely all for jewelry and stuff right now. Yeah, like this has just been like a mini haul. Again, guys, I'm so sorry about this format. I don't know how this has happened on my camera. I'm very unsure, but I'll, I will figure it out. I'm still trying to hang of things. Like I've literally been doing this a couple of months, so please bear with. Um, but I'll figure out how I've ended up filming on this setting. But yeah, I just thought I would like, rather than like wait and order loads of stuff from big brands, I'd already order stuff, so I just thought I would show you just now. But yeah, hopefully you don't mind. It's not like a really serious haul, obviously it's just like a little mini one. Um, And like I said, guys, if you need any like, if you ever need me to answer like any DMs and like, um, customs in that brushy and just let me know um, I'll make sure to link everything below um, if anything's sold out I'll either maybe link it and just tell you it's sold out or try to find an alternative for you but yeah I'm really really happy with everything I've got if you could please um, subscribe to my channel like and comment that'd be great and I, oh, as always guys if you're sharing this on social media like Instagram please tag me so I can repost it um, and yeah, again, I'm so sorry about this format. I'm just, I'm just shy, Anna. Just want to say thank you, everyone, for watching. Say thank you. Say bye. Say bye. See you for the next one. Love you.